Guys, Lex here with another Fragrance Unboxing and First Impressions video. Now if you watched my last video you saw that I done uh, First Impressions on Oudin Pine and Verme for Men but the person I bought the Oudin Pine from sent me some samples. So I've got three of the samples he sent me and one that I got um, from another guy ages ago that I never talked about. So they are Oud Forest by Montal, Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford, um, Shifre Moose by a brand I've never heard of and one man show ruby edition. So um yeah, let's get started. So I want to start with um Oud Forest. So let's see what this one smells like. I think most people just came here to hear me sniff the ruby edition of one man show. Anyway, hurry up. So what these I hate these ones, these ones you can't spray, you have to take out the bee. So let's do it the I feel I hate this. Applying old spice. Oh, there we go. I feel like you know. Sex panther? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that smell? Yeah. Yeah, so already off the bat, wood forest. So, what do you expect? You think of a forest? Green, woody, almost fruity, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. This reminds me of something. Don't know what this is. It smells really nice, by the way. It's driving me crazy. What's this remind me of? It's really fresh. Um, a forest. You know, when I think of a forest, it's, it's really fresh. Sort of green. Can I say walking through a forest in the spring? Like um, when I say spring, like um, early spring, but still almost wintry and cold. Okay, sharp. Dying. Oh, it's just, it's really um, fresh and sort of almost icy smelling, but fresh. Mm. Really, really like this one. The only thing um, is it doesn't seem to be a beast like the rest of Montel's. It's not hitting me. Again, we put a wee dab on. You can see here because it wasn't a full. It's not really seem to be hitting me, but I've sniffed another fragrance that smells really similar to this, and I'm dying to know what it is. What the hell is that? Drive me crazy. <laughs> It's really nice, I'm dying what that is. But yeah, this one is, it's Oud Forest. And the Oud is still in there, but I'm getting more freshness from this one. More fresh vibe. Definitely. Sort of, command fresh, foresty fruits and stuff, but not in the same way of Ungaro Masculine. More icy, like cold. Imagine that, that I'm trying to provide emphasis on that sharp bitterness, you know, cold weather. You know, it makes your nose hot and go red and stuff. Cold, bitter, sharp, icy weather. You know, so it's still fresh, but it's still sort of cold. So I'm having this. This smells absolutely delicious. Fantastic stuff. Not, a, and I, I really want to test how strong this is. I might put on more of this in our time and just see how strong it really is. But um, yeah, so far I'm really liking that. It's Oud Forest by Montel. Loving this one. So next up, Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud, which seems to get not that much love. So let's see if I can sort this out. I actually got a fair amount of this in this. My God. This will last a while. Well, not really, because look at the spear. One spear will do. There we go. So, hmm, Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud. Yeah. Right off the bat, lovely, lovely, lovely tobacco. If anything, this smells closer to Verme than Tobacco Vanilla does. So, yeah. Really, really nice. It's just tobacco, like pipe tobacco in there. Can you imagine an old an old man sitting smoking his pipe like that. Really, really nice, rich pipe tobacco smell. Mmm. Yeah. Proper tobacco -y. Really nice. And the oud is in there as well. Yeah, the oud's definitely quite prominent in that. Now the thing is, um the reason I think people don't like this one is because when they say tobacco and Tom Ford, they think, oh, tobacco vanilla, which many praise as the best scent of it, tobacco vanilla and Tuscan leather, you know, many people fight over which one is the superior. Which one's the best, Tom Ford and stuff, and my god. I think people just smell this and expect that, you know, that nice. But really, I, I think this is gorgeous. I really don't see anything bad with this one. I think this is excellent. And it's it's, it's a lot stronger than the Oud Forest. The Oud Forest as well, I'll sniff it again. 
I'm picking up the freshness. The freshness is cuts going completely my but mine's going from really heavy tobacco to good for smelling delicious. Yeah. <laughs> tobacco is just gorgeous. Just pipe tobacco, dark, oody. Really nice. The performance seems to be going pretty strong. I'm getting wafts of it from here. You know, it's it's going strong. That's a single spray of the old decant I got there. So yeah, not bad at all. Next up, this one I've never heard of, Shifri Mousse or Mousse. Um, doesn't say much info on it. Uh, maybe you guys will recognise the font a little bit. I know my camera's terrible when it comes to focusing. You guys will recognise it? I don't know, but let's see what it smells like. If I was some really big diehard fan of this house, listen to me pronounce it wrong, sitting there going, BASTARD! <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, so, let's move on. The sheep there. Mmm. Ha ha! Yeah. I just feel like I calmed down a bit. Jesus Christ, this stuff is strong. Holy fuck. Pardon my language, but Jesus. So I, I gotta be tiny dab with my fingers. And it's, oh my god. <laughs> It's like I like it, but I don't like it. Right off the bat, this is like cinnamon sugar. Like, I'm not, I know a lot of people go, cinnamon. But no, I mean cinnamon sugar. You buy cinnamon sugar at the store, you open it up, you put it in your porridge or whatever, you just sniff it inside the sugar, cinnamon sugar, that's what it smells like. Cinnamon sugar. Let's get something else in there. Is that leather? Or wood? Hmm. Never heard this brand in my life, I'll need to Google them. I should have Googled them yesterday after that video, but I didn't. I'm a bad guy! <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Let's rest my nose by sniffing good forest again. And the only reason I'm sniffing this so much is because I'm dying to know what this is. Mm. Right, okay, back to this now, it's calmed down. Definitely. It's my like book. Mm. I'm not liking this one that much, but I'm appreciating where they're going with it. Cinnamon, I think it's wood or leather. It smells, I hate using this term, but it does smell old man. Man going to your granddad's house, it smells like that. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like it. I mean, it's, it's weird. I like it, and then, like, when I first sniff this, I get the whiff of this cinnamon, mmm, and then that leather or wood or whatever it is hits me, and I'm like, fuck. fuck. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, and um, this one's going strong, so performance already with this one. This one's trumping the tobacco wood so far. It's insanely strong. And you guys know I can handle all sorts of fragrances. Kuvos, One Man Show, Gold, Lapidus, and Nada Make Me Want to Vomit. Not even grey flannel, but this. Jesus. <sighs> Look, be sick. Jesus Christ. Now, let's move on to another. In fact, I need a drink. <laughs> Jesus. Now, but you never expect this one, guys, huh? <clears throat> okay. Now that my mental health has been partially restored. Or fully restored because I'm fucked up. But anyway. Um, one that a lot of people have been dying for me to talk about. One Man Show Ruby Edition. Yep. Richie Gallus sent me this one. He was a member of Mother Fragrance Groups. I think he's left now. But if you are happen to be watching, thank you very much for this. I really appreciate it. I've been wanting this for ages. And as you can see, I've barely used any of this because I'm so scared. Because <laughs> you just can't get this stuff. I wish Bogart would stop fucking around and release it already. So, I sniff One Man Show Ruby Edition. Now, I've had this compared to all sorts. Uh, Fahrenheit Absolute. It works. So, I have Smith Gold. So, what's the Ruby Edition give me? Mmm. Yeah, absolutely delicious. I read a review for this on Free Grantica, and it was something that was one of the best reviews I've ever read. It was a few lines. It was something along the lines of you find an Arabian prince collapsed in a, cam uh, in a candy store. He's overdosed on white mice and, you know, white chocolate mice, and he's puked into an old leather briefcase. Delicious. So yeah, an Arabian prince passed out in a, a candy store who's overdosed on white chocolate mice and has puked into an old leather briefcase. Delicious. Basically sums this up. The oud, you can definitely get the oud in there. Right about the oud's like, boom! That's the thing that was missing from gold. Uh, Ruby edition. 
I can get the come from with the fan hate absolute vibe. I do get that. Um yeah. <clears throat> really, really good. And already this one's such a heavy hitter. I mean I'm smelling it from here. I mean you can look in for Grantica, you'll see how many people voted it as heavy hitting. You thought gold was heavy, this takes the cake. Now it's good to, I recommend sniffing this on your, on your own. Don't sniff this alongside gold. Sniff them both separately. You know, one day and then a few hours, six hours later, so the next day after a shower, sniff gold. Because if you sniff them both separately, the incense notes that they do share will block out and you'll be able to pick out some of the notes. It does have an incense vibe, the original has. Sweet. Quite sexy smelling, actually. Yeah, and that oud, oudy vibe in there. Really, really nice. Really good. And the funny thing is, they've also released one man show, Oud Edition, last year. Why are they releasing the new fragrances when they haven't even released older ones? I mean, Ruby Edition came out in 2013, that's two years old now, and we've still not got it. Come on, Bogart, sort your act out. You've got loads of money, you've got loads of fucking buying power, so you've got no reason not to release it. I mean, come on. So, yeah. Really, really good scent. Excellent scent. I really like it. And I'm going to say something right now, which is probably going to piss a few people off, but I'm going to say it anyway. With the flankers, one man show gold and this and now Oud Edition coming out, especially after smelling this alongside gold and seeing how they managed to improve gold, the original one man show is dead to me. It's out as league. I mean, the flankers came out 30 years later and they blow it out of the water. The original one man show is just. Oh, fuck off screen. Work. Yeah, the original one man show is dead to me. Now, there's a lot of people. It's one of these fragrances that seems to have so many people up its ass. Like defending it at all costs. I mean, really, I don't see anything that special about it. But I'm serious. Sniff the flankers. Don't even go near the original because it's it's just out it's, it's out its league. I mean, these were developed 30 years after the original, and they surpass it in every way. Performance, smell, quality. Yeah. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really enjoying these scents. What I'm going to try and do is remember what Wood Forest reminds me of before I finish and render this video and upload it, and I'll add a wee short segment at the end. Yeah, that, I can just keep it recording and just sit here. <clears throat> Still don't know. <clears throat> give me a minute, give me a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, got it, got it. Uh, I know what this is, I know what this is. <sighs> Lost it. <sighs> but no, I'm not that cool. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments. And I know always, I got it. And as always, keep on smelling fly.